so you download it and install it on Scrambler to analyze your spectral data. Now what? From the import menu, you can directly import generic spectral formats and spectral proprietary formats. Let's browse to the location of your spectra. Select, preview, and import. For spectral data, a line plot is a very appropriate way to visualize the raw data before analysis. We can also perform descriptive statistics. Here we see box plots for each of the spectral variables. Notice towards the end of the spectra how the spread is getting wider and wider. This is indicative of scatter effects. We can look more into this by selecting the scatter effects plot within the statistics menu. We can select which samples we want to plot from this drop-down menu. Select all samples. This pattern of widening towards the end is indicative of multiplicative scatter effects, which typically arise due to interferences like differences in particle size. We should remove this variation using transforms or preprocessing. The transform menu offers a wide range of transformation options specific to various data types, including general and advanced spectroscopic preprocessing tools. We can apply, for example, a multiplicative scatter correction. Define the spectral data you want to transform here. A new node appears in the project navigator with the transformed spectra. Make a line plot of the transformed spectra and pop it out in a separate window. Do the same for the line plot of the raw spectra to compare these side by side. The scatter effects have been reduced with the transformed compared to the raw spectra. To proceed to perform multivariate analysis on the spectra, go to Tasks Analyze and select the desired method. Principal component analysis is a very common method. Set the transformed spectra as the model inputs here. Once all the other settings have been defined, click Finish to start the analysis. Note that since we defined this data as spectral, the default view for the resulting variable plots, like the loadings plot, conserve the spectral shape. Visit the KMO community for more videos showing the different methods. Happy unscrambling!